it will feel to you like this super mind that is really who you are has kicked in and you will understand not just where you stand now, but where you are going in terms of the vibrational evolution of that which is you. Now, most of you, especially in the beginning, are more interested in how that plays out in what you want to call your real life experience. In other words, what improvements can I expect in my relationships or in my financial situation or in my bodily conditions? What more can I achieve? And we want to tell you here that there are no limitations, that there is nothing that cannot be massaged into a more harmonic place. And so we want to get that out there as an expectation that you begin to ponder. That's the only homework that we'll ever give you. Expect to understand in new ways and expect the fruits or the manifestational benefits of that understanding to begin to show up right away. You are together with so many others who are on this precipice of this new unfolding. And don't panic, don't feel unprepared. You are, we promise you, you are. Your inner being, as well as all that we are, is in full awareness of what your hopes and dreams and desires are. And every word that is spoken from this platform will be in the assistance and vibrational support of these things that you desire. So relax in the trusting expectation that what you want, or even if you want to use the word what you need, whatever it is, you will feel it vibrationally, you will feel it energetically, and you will notice it in terms of see it, hear it, smell it, taste it, touch it, manifestation. The appreciation that we feel for you is greater than you can right now comprehend. You'll feel it and you'll know it. You'll know it as we know it. And what that means is your sense of worthiness, your sense of appreciation for who you are and where you stand and what you've lived and where you've been and where you're pointed and what's coming next. All of that will queue up for you in a delightful way. It is our absolute knowing. So take it easy. Be really nice to yourself. Be nice to everyone you see around you. Have this knowing that we are in a vessel of well-being and that all that you desire is in the process of revealing itself to you. Now, we want to clarify. It's been revealing for a while. It has been. It's been revealing itself to you for a while. But your realization factor is going to go through the roof. So... Let those who know you, who are standing around you, who have known you for a while, just say to them softly, it's going to get real. We're going to do some good work together. Things are going to start shifting. You're going to feel it. You're going to know it. And not just you, but everything that exists will be the beneficiary of this co-creation at its best. We're going to leave you to the beginning of the beginning of the beginning of all of this wonderful stuff. We are so appreciative that you've come to play with us because without you and the clarity that is you and the desire that you've formulated and your willingness to feel your way along with us, there would not be this expansion. It is all about you. We want you to acknowledge the rightness of where you stand no matter what, no matter where it is. Because where you are is where your inner being knows that you are. And where you want to be, your inner being knows that. So the path of least resistance has been identified and orchestrated and the cooperative components have been gathered. And so you can't be off your path. Now feel the non-physicalness, absence of negative judgment about where you are. Now 
consider what other people around you might be saying about where you are, thinking about where you are. What we're really asking for, what we really want, is that through this conversation that we've had here today, that you've come to some sort of urging or decision to put all your eggs in the basket of inner being guidance and none of your eggs in the opinions of others around you, no matter who they are, whether they're your kids or your spouse. The opinions of the world have really done a number on you. And now we're going to offer a more accurate statement. Boy, your perception of them has really done a number on you. Now we're going to offer a more accurate statement. Oh boy, where you see yourself in the world in relationship with everyone else has really done a number on you. Now we're going to make a statement that is even clearer and more beneficial. Boy, you really haven't utilized the step one part of the equation as efficiently or as effectively as you might have. You've taken it all too personally. A little more clear. Oh boy, the buffet of choices in your physical world has not been serving you as well as it might because of your awareness of so many things you don't want when there are some things that you do want, which leads us to another even clearer statement. Isn't it nice that you have the ability to choose from the buffet? And isn't it nice that you have the ability to feel the resonance of your inner being with the choices that you're making. Here's another statement. Ooh, wouldn't it be nice if you had the wherewithal, the clarity to leave more of what physical people around you are thinking about you, about others, about themselves out of the equation? And wouldn't it be nice if it was just you in your environment, having your expansion and taking satisfaction from it. More. Wouldn't it be nice if step one could really be step one? I know what I don't want. I know what I do want. I know what I don't want. I know what I do want. Without condemning, that shouldn't be part of it. I shouldn't even be thinking those thoughts. Wouldn't it be nice if you could return today, right now, to the attitude, mood, knowing that you had when you made the decision and as you were emerging into this physical body, wouldn't it be nice if you could know now what you knew then? Oh, there's a lot going on. I'm going to take it all in. It's there for me to choose and decide. And once I've identified it and isolated it, all that is non-physical, will rendezvous, will come together in focus to assist me in the manifestation of that. I am a creator, and I am blessed, and I'm going forth to create for the satisfaction of creation and for the absolute, unequivocal, can't get around it, can't get away from it, expansion and evolution of me. And in the process of that, others like me will be finding their way, feeling their way too. And I'll take satisfaction from what they've figured out and from what they haven't figured out. We're all in this together. Let me add it, 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 let me add it. I cannot get it wrong and I cannot get it done and I'll never get it wrong and I'll never get it done. And I can't get it wrong and I'll never get it done. And I want it 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 and I want it. And it's fun and it's good and it's delicious and it's right and it's source and it's true and it's real. This is how you felt, you see. And this is the set point that we want to help to restore you to. That's co-creating at its best, yes. Ease and flow. Satisfied with what is and eager for more or looking for what more, but not the attitude of determination of making something happen. That almost always pushes it away because there's a sort of urgency about it that is resistant in nature.
Yeah. There's a lot going on when we have a gathering like this because we're talking you out of some habits that aren't serving you very well. And often they are habits that you've learned from others and they are habits that have been encouraged. Hard work and determination and never letting go and stubbornness and invincibility and setting goals. These are things that in the world of positive mental attitude philosophies have all really been encouraged and they will take you so far but they block more than they encourage your melding with the non-physical part of you who knows there's no urgency who knows there's no problem who knows it's a sure thing who knows it's all right who knows that it will unfold there's a difference between that knowing and wanting to know it That's a lot of what has evolved within so many of you because you haven't had any choice in some of these longer conversations other than just to relax and see if there might not be something for you. And if you notice, most times you find that there is. And so how do you find ease and flow without feeling bored? Well, each one of you has to find your place. But... Humans often think they'd rather have a negative thought than no thought at all because some thought feels like getting something done. They'd rather do something than meditate because doing something feels like being productive and that's been encouraged by other people, especially those who wanted you to do stuff. Yeah, and you can put that in even clearer terms. I'm so damn tired of putting clutter on my own path and then having to work around it. Or I'm so damn tired of getting in my own way. Or I'm so damn tired of keeping beliefs active that I learned along my physical way that I can feel when they're active aren't working for me, but I still do them because it's easier to keep doing the same thing than to do something different. It's easier because of the momentum factor. But once that scale tips, that's when you discover what true ease is and what true leverage is. So the universe says, how about this? How about this? How about this? How about this? And you say, oh, where has all of that been? And we say, in your vortex, queued up, waiting for you to turn your dial to receive it. Every thought that has ever been thought is still abounds. And the law of attraction puts them in rivers and streams. People want to say, there's a stream of good, we can feel that. Is there a stream of bad? Is there a stream of evil? And we say, yeah, but it's a spin-off of man's conscious thought. It's not coming from some source place. It's the compilation of the insecurity-based thinking that humans have done. And those thoughts still exist. And they are nurtured and encouraged generation after generation. Here's the thing. None of it matters Because what's there, wanted or unwanted, is irrelevant as it exists. But what is relevant is your tuning and what you match up with. In other words, don't think in terms of there being thought forms to avoid and thought forms to look for. Think in terms of you being tuned to source so you have access only to those vibrations, those memories, those ideas, those things that are yet to hatch that are a vibrational match to who you really are. It's like the buffet we always talk to you about. When you go to that beautiful buffet with all of that variety, you don't look it over and say, I would never eat that, please take it off the buffet. Just don't put it on your plate. But it might accidentally get on my plate. It's not going to get on your plate unless you give it so much attention that somebody who's putting things on your plate misunderstands and thinks you want some. But... You don't have to rid the buffet of your world or the buffet of where you live. You don't have to rid it of unwanted things. Just don't match up to it. And it won't be your experience.